the light again so i'm kind of like look i'm i'm knee i can't the stress was just like <laughs> too much i'm just like losing power i'm in traffic i'm coming through toll booths like heading out on the motorway reduced power trucks behind you going through tunnels so it's really really stressful um so a bit of like joddering a bit so sort of misfiring a bit so uh, anyway i'm thinking maybe is it the fuel filter I'm like gripping the steering wheel so hard in this wind. It's um, and uh, we, we we're getting a headwind, which is not helping the situation. At some uh, EGR valve um, injector cleaner, and he's like, "We've got some. We've got some really good stuff. It's totally recommended." So I'm like, "Right." So we've uh, emptied that in the diesel tank and uh, got back out on the motorway. I've got about wheel the mower on my can outside just to show you where we've ended up and uh, this is where we've ended up Italy to bloody Chichester in Hampshire we tried our best to get the bursar back but uh, Given that blesser. but we we kind of like feel like um, like Carolyn says like you know at the end of the day we have come a seriously long way first leg of our journey. Oh, just there. Um, no, I'm going to literally take you all the way, and we're like, mate, that isn't bad news, that's good news. So uh, this guy is going to take us all the way, which is bloody fantastic. things are really looking up oh there's no light on no light on that light oh look at that oh let's get some diesel diesel oh, thinking back to the last time i think i put some diesel in was the lower side of paris so uh, it's been a while it's been a while so it's tuesday the 29th of october and I think my nightmare has ended. Look where I am, back in my motorhome. I cannot believe it. Um, I'm just gonna start off by sort of set, um, telling you how my day went. Um, we were actually, I think I was uh, first alerted uh, around lunchtime where um, I had a quick look on my Metatrack and I noticed the ignition was actually on. You can see where the ignition goes on and off on the Metatrack and um, if anybody's looking for um, a tracking device guys, the Metatrack is, um, I, I know there's some really good other systems out there but it's for me it's been absolutely a godsend. I'll show you some of the pictures so I could see the, the guy from Vosper is actually taking it on a a bit of a road test so uh I, I hadn't like spoken we just like i just let him get on with it but uh, i am deeply deeply concerned and uh, just waiting for that like glimmer it's literally been a week i where i dropped it off last tuesday up to vosper so it's been one week of like nail biting phone you know sort of just been like that it's just like oh my god anyway I think it was um, roughly around uh, four o'clock when I eventually got the phone call from Jay at Vospers and he said, uh, your van's ready, mate. So it's up to you when you want to collect it. It was getting a little bit late in the day, but um, he said, we're taking it out for a road test. Um, we've been sort of 
obviously you are used to driving it and like know how it goes so um you know we we don't know sort of really what it's like supposed to go like kind of thing um, if that makes sense um and uh, i kind of said like jay you know you like, obviously it's a big old um well it's not you know the fairly weighty for the 130 engine and stuff you know so um I want to. I need to drive it ASAP. So I literally like right. I'm gonna get it. I'm I'm gonna drive up there and pick it up. So I literally um, got up there, and uh, he was a bit sort of like, oh, I'm gonna keep it. and I'm like, mate, I am so uh, desperate to get this van back. So uh, that's what happened, and uh, yeah, and I think the rest is kind of. Oh, so um, I have. They've left me with my reminder of the part the magnet morelli ecu i'm going to um this this was actually on the mat in the front it's got that kind of smell <laughs> the smell that would smell like wd in there cleaning out or you know it's just got that smell that I want to try and erase from my memory in my motor home. So in a minute, it's going to be out of the, out the door. Um, so the next thing, guys, is probably... I'll, I'll tell you now, guys. I've, I've literally... So what time is it? Yeah, it's, it's 7 o'clock. It's kind of 7 o'clock. So I'm going, to, I'm going to try and get this vlog out in a minute just so uh, everybody knows the uh, current situation. Um, I literally went directly to Trago Mills. I thought, right, I'm, I need to get some fuel in it. I think the last time we fueled it, well, like I said in the previous, um, yeah, so I actually got some uh, V power. I just whacked a load of V power in it as well. I just like need that kind of like peace of mind. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm tired, guys. I'm really tired of it. Like, it's been, I, I said to Jay, I said, literally, mate, it's been like probably nearly close to seven weeks now of like, absolutely bad bad time <laughs> bad time when you're as passionate as we are and i think a lot of people don't understand um what what your motor rooms mean to you and uh, especially people like us we're just like absolutely mad for it um i haven't even looked at the bill um i literally just put my card in and uh paid the bill so um do I need to break down the bill? <laughs> oh, oh my god! Um, I'll, I'll have a quick look. So the 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 total. Let's just have a little look. Ooh, ah. Uh, total that I paid earlier on was nineteen eighty one ninety seven. So um, a little of that carry out repair engine management light already had new injector that was the um stuff um oh make so let's just have a little look graham to book the hold down bolts um I'm just trying to get focus on it to be honest. I'm I'm just literally carry the repair supply for ECU. Um So it looks like it was nearly 930 odd. Um the looks like the injector job was kind of 500 ish and uh, VAT on top of that obviously um, 330 VAT that it's life guys it's life um, I, I'm sort of uh, it, it's sort of like a bit difficult for me because obviously you know the score guys um, um, they literally with them bolts I, I've, I've you know <laughs> yeah it's it's one of them guys uh, so i advise um anybody it, when it gets down to this kind of like he was giving me um injector reports on the um leak off quantities um i'll tag a picture in the the quantities are all i've got to be um of leak off uh, so the injector has got to be putting him right amount of fuel in and stuff like that and um so yeah i think 
I will just um, write it all off as a pretty bad job. Um, but hey guys, you know the score. Um, probably, uh, if, if I, I kind of sort of say to people like probably um, if I'd never had the issue, we'd have probably ended up spending that on um, fast living, enjoying ourselves, but hey ho. <laughs> there you go. Um, what do you say? But um, thanks for watching this video, guys. I, uh, I'm just going to sort of like try and um, relax a little bit now and uh and next few days uh the first actually the first thing i'm i'm thinking about doing is actually getting me bf goodridge's back we're back into we're into kind of like november getting close to november uh the end of this week so basically i think um the next thing is to get the aluminium wheels off get the bf goodridge's back on um it's unfortunately the beginning of bloody winter but um there it is. I've literally just put my hookup lead back in because I'm back at my base. Got the hookup lead back in, and um, we've taken a load of swag out, and uh, we've got a bit, of, got a bit of sorting to do. Get our heads around things. Um, I'm gonna be. Oh, the last thing I'm gonna say, guys, is I said to Jay. I said, "So Jay, that's ECU, mate. Water ingress, no joff." Um, internal failure of the ECU can happen at any time and I understand that I understand the temperature differences we had the discussion um, I mentioned again about the speed hump thing all this like you know vibrate jerk jur it um, water in the ECU no so um, basically guys I'm still I, I, I need to sort out you know the score what we're gonna do the drain off pipes oh and um, yeah while we're on that little subject because I haven't actually mentioned this yet guys um, so we were actually around on the weekend and looking around some motorhomes as we normally do <laughs> when we're stir crazy but um, we went to a couple of dealers okay and it was absolutely shocking i said to the guy in the first because the guy come out and said do you need any help and I, I sort of said look up mate we're actually just waiting for a blah 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 or i just you know and uh, i said oh mate I, I i've just been looking around and and as things go i've sort of got this <laughs> magnetic sort of thing going on with um the scuttle on the front uh, and the drain off tubes and we were looking at motorhomes it was like shocking they're all they're all blocked up loads are blocked up solid absolutely moss growing in them absolutely i saw another one guys with a small pond water over the wiper spindle and basically that wiper spindle it's going to seep down through the spindle it, it sits in the spindle and uh, the water gradually will seep in and it will seize that wiper linkage it will burn out your motor it was it was a little pond it was like oh my god crikey take note guys have a look keep an eye on these drain tubes i need to um the first thing i'm going to be doing is sealing up that um pipe that plastic tube that i showed on previous videos um we will be putting some um sealer along the bottom edge um and checking that rubber again having a look at that rubber but um i think to be honest and ah so another great thing that i need to tell you guys is the fact that we are going to try and um i haven't been very disciplined when it's parked here with my silver screens my silver screens are going to be going on um uh, probably in the morning I'll, I'll probably have time in the morning bit of daylight i'm just gonna i just need to chill out tonight get this video ripped but the silver screens will be coming down over to protect it from this rain it's it's giving dry weather for the next couple of days so i'm okay for a minute but we're gonna try and put some extra protection uh with all this rain so i'm, I'm gonna leave it there guys i hope you enjoyed the video give us a comment what do you think um and uh we'll see you on the next one bye for now